superfluid, ultra-cold, quantum state. The words sound like they could spill from the pages of science fiction. But to physicist Deborah Jin, they are the nuts and bolts of her daily research in low-temperature quantum physics, research that has made her a veritable superhero in the field. Deborah Jin grew up in Florida in the 1970s. With a physics-minded engineer as a mother and a physics professor for a father, it seemed she was destined to a life in science, although she wasn't always so sure of that. Physics in the classroom is not really that interesting for the first two years, at least. A summer spent during college doing a research program at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center changed her mind. It made physics seem uh, a lot more real and a lot more fun. Jin went on to earn her PhD in physics from the University of Chicago. Then in 1995, she began postdoctoral research at the University of Colorado. Her attention was devoted first to the study of low temperature superconductivity and eventually the superfluidity of ultra low temperature gases. A superconductor is a material that can carry electricity with no resistance. If you had a superconducting wire, for example, you could transmit electricity from one place to another with absolutely no loss. Superfluidity is like superconductivity, except there's no electrical charge. Advances in this field had the potential to explain some of the major mysteries in quantum physics. Jin leapt at the chance to be a part of physics history. By her second year at Colorado, she had already helped to develop some of the first research into what are called Bose-Einstein condensates. Condensates uh, basically is a phenomena where a bunch of particles are in exactly the same quantum state, something that doesn't usually happen. All particles can be classified into one of two categories, bosons or fermions. Basic property of bosons is that they like to do the same thing. Basic property of fermions is that they don't like to be in the same place at the same time. So fermions, the particles that make up all tangible matter, are far more difficult for physicists to manipulate. In fact, a condensate from fermions, a so-called Fermi superfluid, once seemed so unattainable that it was dubbed the holy grail of physics. Very clearly, you could see a connection between the fundamental physics that we're studying, these condensates, and the physics of superconductivity. But to really make that connection, you needed to work with particles that were fermions. In 1999, I think, we produced the first ultra-cold gas of atoms that were fermions. It was a landmark achievement, but only the first step toward the ultimate holy grail. Building on the work of her colleague at Colorado, Eric Cornell, who along with Carl Wyman and Wolfgang Ketterle, won the Benjamin Franklin Medal in Physics in 2000 for creating the first Bose-Einstein condensate, Jin devised an ingenious technique. In order to make a Fermi condensate, you have to play a trick, which is to make the fermions form something that looks like a boson. And what that is is a pair of fermions. She and her team were then able to manipulate the interactions between the fermion pairs, and by December of 2003, they had created the world's first condensate from fermionic atoms. This breakthrough could someday lead to one of the most sought-after goals in all of experimental physics, room temperature superconductors, enabling the creation of large-scale remote power stations, super batteries that stay charged for years, and even magnetically levitated trains that ride on cushions of air. There are no materials that are superconducting at room temperature, and that's the biggest obstacle for using superconductivity in a practical way. And yet, in the fundamental physics, there doesn't seem to be any reason why you can't have superconductivity at room temperature. From mentoring undergraduates to her volunteer work bringing science demonstrations to students in Colorado schools, Jin's impact goes well beyond her spectacular research feats. So I think one of the you know, wonderful things is to work with these very talented young people. A lot of the ideas and the energy and the enthusiasm really come from, from them. 
The 2008 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Physics is presented to Deborah Jin for her pioneering investigations of the quantum properties of an ultra-cold gas of fermionic atoms, atoms that cannot occupy the same quantum state, and in particular, for the creation of the first quantized gas of fermionic atoms.